Hello everyone. Welcome to Edimun tutorial series. This is Divya and I am going to be your instructor for Web Technologies. In Web Technologies Unit 1, we have topics Introduction to HTML, Core Elements of HTML, Links and Addressing, Images, Text, Colors and Background, Lists, Tables and Layouts, Frames, Forms and Cascading Style Sheets. In this video, I am going to discuss about Introduction to HTML, Core Elements of HTML, and text formatting tags. Introduction to HTML HTML is a basic language used to create web pages. It is developed by Tim Berners in the year 1993. Its standards are created by a group of organizations and individuals called W3C or World Wide Web Consortium. HTML5 is the latest evolution or version of HTML. Website A website is a set of related web pages located under a single domain name typically produced by an organization. For example, YouTube is an organization with a domain name www.youtube.com. All the related web pages of YouTube are located under the domain name www.youtube.com. There are two types of websites, static websites and dynamic websites. Static websites, the websites whose content do not change for every subsequent user or the, the contents that remain same for every user are known as static websites. For example, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a website whose content do not change for every subsequent user. Once they are edited by a user, they are same for every subsequent user. Next, dynamic websites. Dynamic websites are the websites whose content change for every subsequent user. Examples of dynamic websites include YouTube, Gmail, Facebook. Advantages of HTML HTML is very widely used. It is easy to learn and use. HTML is free. Every browser supports HTML. Core elements of HTML Tags are the core elements of HTML. A tag is a format name surrounded by angular brackets. Syntax of tag is Tag name, attribute name is equal to value, content slash tag name. This is the opening tag and this is the closing tag. Example, mark you is the tag name, direction is the attribute name, write is the value, welcome is the content and slash mark you is the closing tag of mark you tag. There are two types of tags, empty or singleton tags, paid or container tags. Empty or singleton tags are the tags which contain either only an opening tag or a closing tag. Line break tag is a tag which consists only an closing tag. So it is a empty or singleton tag. Container paid tags are the tags which have both the opening and closed tags. In the above example, mark you tag consists of both opening and closed tags. So it is known as container or paid tag. Structure of HTML document. An HTML document starts with document type definition which defines the type of document whether it is a HTML document or it is a text document. It is in HTML5, the document type definition would be as exclamation doc type HTML. For versions lesser than HTML5, the document type definition would be as follows. Next, after the document type definition, HTML tag is used. It is the root tag or container tag of all the elements in of all the elements or tags in the html document except the document type tag and the next tag followed by html is head head section consists of specific information about the content of the document content of the document title script and css tags come under the head section the next section is body which consists of body of a document text formatting tags these tags are used to specify the ways in which the text can be displayed in a web page bold for displaying the content in bold format i for displaying the content in italic format u tag for underlining the content mark tag for highlighting the content big tag for displaying the content in biggest possible letters for small first displaying the content in smallest size possible 
strong displays the content in bold format so it works same as that of b tag emphasize em tag is used to stress out the statement or content so and it works uh, same as that of italic superscript tag is used to handle exponential kind of data and subscript tag is used to handle logarithmic content let us see an example this is a file named sample and is saved with an extension html dot html the first line would be document app definition which defines that this document is of html format and is not a text file under the head section we have written the title text formatting tags which is the title of the document under the body section font is a tag we used which specifies the size face and family of the content of the page for better understanding of how the tags differ i have used the same statement which is welcome to edmund tutorials first i have used bold then italic and emphasized you underline mark big small strong after every subsequent usage of a tag i have used break statement this is a line break tag when used as a result the next statement would be displayed in the next line the output would be as this way text formatting tags would be the title of the document is displayed here beside the browser logo and the content would be this one bold italic emphasized tag while using underline tag when used mark tag when used big tag when used small tag when used strong which is same as bold and uh, here two has a superscript which is edumon and the next statement two has a subscript edumon this is better explained in the statement below which is uh, five power of five in exponential form we can here five is the superscript of five log to the base two here log to the base is is uh, <coughs> specified using subscript next heading tags these are used to give heading to a document there are six heading tags h1 to h6 while h1 being the highest possible size for a heading in a document and h6 being the lowest possible size for a heading in a document from h1 to h6 the size decreases for better understanding let us consider an example in this example the title of the document would be tags and the statement that is going to be displayed in different header sizes is welcome to edumon tutorials the output would be as this browser logo followed by tags which is the title of the document the first line displaying the welcome to edumon tutorials header in the highest possible size and the last statement displaying the header in lowest possible size next horizontal line tag hr tag is used to display a horizontal line in a web page it has attributes align no shade size and width align can be assigned a value either left or center or right no shade can be assigned a value no shade size can be assigned a value in pixels or percentage width can be assigned a value pixel in pixels or percentage line break tag this is a singleton tag which have only a closing tag and does not have an opening tag when break tag is used the stay content after the break tag is going to be displayed in the next line in the web page blink tag this is used when we wanted the content of a web page to blink it is only supported in netscape version 5.0 and is not supported or not going to work in any other browsers such as chrome and mozilla firefox mark you tag this tag is used to move content in a web page it has attributes behavior bg color direction height width loop scroll delay and scroll amount behavior which says in in what way the content should be moved either it has to scroll or slide or alternate bg color specifies the background color using rgb values or color name direction according to the behavior the mark you tag should specify the direction that is left or right or up or down height can be specified in either pixels or percentage width can be specified in either pixels or percentage loop in number scroll delay in seconds and scroll amount in number mark you tag moves the content by displaying the content and then delaying it for a short 
period of time and then displaying the content again in a new position. Scroll delay sets the amount of delay in milliseconds whereas scroll amount sets the size in pixels of each jump. Let us now understand this with an example. In this example, the document title would be WT and I have given a heading horizontal and mark tax usage and I have aligned it to the center of the page. I have displayed two horizontal lines, one being without no shade and one being with no shade. I have aligned both of them to the center and for the first horizontal line, I haven't given width or I haven't specified width. So let us see how the output would be displayed. Mark you tag. The welcome is the content which is going to slide in the web page in the direction right with the background color blue with a height 50 px and it's going to look for five times. The output would be as this. Horizontal and mark you tag usage. Mark tag usage would be the heading and the first line would be the first horizontal line as the width is not specified it is unlimited and for the second horizontal line tag we have used no shade and the width is limited to 500 px. Next mark you tag welcome is the content that is going to scroll from left corner to right corner of a web page which is known for, uh, for once when the content move from left to right that is from here to here it is called a one loop and we have specified loop 5 so it's going to scroll welcome 5 times. In this way mark your tag is used. In the next video I am going to cover links and addressing images colors and background. Thank you. And I'm going to see you in the next class.